While operating or riding on a jet ski or being towed behind a boat, the law requires you must wear a Coast Guard approved life jacket. For children under 12, they must wear a life jacket on boats less than 26 feet long any time that boat is in motion. And for the rest of us, the law requires an approved life jacket simply be on board the boat. And for the jackets that are found in most of our boats, well, they're really not very comfortable. These are the ones that end up on the floor or stuffed under a seat. But there are some new designs and personal flotation devices that are built for safety and for comfort. Once you put one of these on, you hardly know it's there. This is one of the new type inflatable life jackets that are available for boaters and it is using a CO2 cartridge here. He has to pull this cord in order for it to inflate. It will inflate in front of him and then he'll have to pull it over his head. This is another one of the new inflatable life jackets and you can see it's uh, very lightweight and thin. It actually looks like suspenders. If he fell overboard in the boat, he would jerk this cord and it would inflate. And if you're wearing fishing waders and happen to fall in the water, these can actually trap air and help you stay afloat. If you go in the water when you're wearing waders, don't panic. Float on your back and the air that's trapped in the leg will float you. The inflatable vests are not recommended for whitewater sports. For those events, it's best to invest in a high quality conventional vest. This is Mike Gurnett out among Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.